children. Yeah. But where are the teenagers? Right. You ain't wrong until you get 18. <laughs> so I go, <laughs> children, teenagers. It's like wrong. It says children, baby. Amen. I want to thank the committee for asking me to say a few words uh, to our youth and children. I suggest to my children, suggested when they were growing up, to stay in the book of Proverbs. I gave them a little advice when you went to Fayetteville, and I said, you read that properly. To know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. Look at me, children. Look at me. Look at everybody. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> and it says, my son, my daughter, hear the instruction of the father and forsake not the law of your mother. Everybody looking at me? My first word to you is R E S P E C T. Who know what that spells? Oh, respect. 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 You never know who's watching you when you are doing something that you aren't supposed to be doing. Amen. Amen. Children, Jesus wants all of you just like he wants adults. I want people to get saved when they was 10, and I heard some great people say they were saved at eight years old. So then, you are not too young. Amen. 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 Do you know I say amen? Amen. 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 With all of your heart, and then not to your own understanding, and in all your ways, acknowledge who? Yeah. Him. Amen. Amen. And he will make your path straight. Amen. Amen. And then there's another scripture that says, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. He cares for those young people who trust him. Adults too. And then there's another scripture says, Jesus said, Surely I am with you always to the very end of age. And when you're in school, when you're, you're, when you're in school, don't try to sign the scripture because I'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few minutes. <laughs> now, now, that's good, isn't it? Sometimes we don't find the script. <laughs> All right. And it says, be yourself. Amen. Sometimes the hardest thing in life is being yourself. So if you see somebody else acting, you will be just like them. Be what? Yourself. Amen. Just be who you are. What you are, how you are, the way God made you. Amen? Amen. Sometimes life is going to be hard. Yeah. You are uh, you gonna have some bad stuff. You're gonna have some bad stuff in school. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But what? Be yourself. Yeah. Amen. And the teenagers, which I don't see, I'm sure they in the building. Teenagers, I want you to know that God created you to be responsible, morally pure. Amen. Your body is 
the temple of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to teenagers now. And maybe children do. The way we act and dress, this let people know who you really are. You need to be pretty and handsome inside and not outside. Amen. Amen. I'm coming. We need young leaders. You must study, read, read, read. Especially when school is out. They said if you don't keep abreast in the summer, school, when school is out, you will have forgotten about 10% by the time school starts again. So go to the library, study, study, study. Amen. Swim if you have to, but then go to the, not near where you hang. You swim, go to me. As we as parents must coach them to have confidence in themselves. Parents' habits lead to child habits. Hurtful words. Apologize to your child when you lose your temper. Say, I'm sorry. Say, I'm sorry. That's what your old parents to do when, you are, when they say some hard words to you. You say, look, they say, say, I'm sorry. Say, I'm sorry. Say, I'm sorry. Say, positive Thank you. 